This will be an in vivo evaluation of a gentle wave case done on a tooth that had a gentle wave procedure done because of a fracture in a crown. And then the tooth was extracted right after the gentle wave procedure. The tooth was a necrotic tooth uh, as seen in the uh, cone beam. And there were lesions around both the mesial and uh, distal roots. We decided to evaluate the mesial root. We sectioned it. Um, and you can see from the sections that um, there's a mesial lingual and mesial lingual canal. The canals were instrumented only with the 1704 rotary file. That's the only instrumentation that was done to really test how well the general wave uh, procedure actually cleans a minimally instrumented canal. We're going to just look at the uh, apical end of it, both the mesial buccal and mesial lingual canal. And there's an interconnector there that you can see uh, between. And that's what we're really interested in looking at to see how well that is cleaned out uh, with the general wave procedure. We'll also look a little bit more uh, coronally to the apical segment just to have a look at what the canal wall actually looks like. So this is a low resolution uh, view uh, through the electron microscope. So you get an over sense, an overview of uh, how we're going to examine this. And then we'll look at the high resolution pictures and look for uh, any remaining biofilm that may be in the tooth. So this is the high resolution views. And as you can see, the uh, mesiobuccal and mesiolingual canal look uh, very well cleaned out. And we'll take a closer look because when you're looking for biofilms, you really have to do it at very high magnification uh, or you may miss them. It's very easy to miss uh, endodontic biofilms in teeth. So you have to be very careful the way you look at these. So this is the mesial buccal canal and uh, you can see uh, it's exceptionally clean. Uh, it looks like there are a few red blood cells. Um, you can see kind of the resorptive area that's very common with teeth with uh, apical pathology. And you can see uh, some of the collagen from the uh, pre-dentin and odontoblastic layer uh, is still present, but there is no evidence of any bacterial growth or bacterial biofilms uh, anywhere in the mesial buccal canal at all. It looks very, very well cleaned out. <laughs> And going into areas with higher magnification that may look similar uh, as though they are biofilms, when you look at them closely, you can see it's just, these are just calcospherites. They are not bacteria. They're calcospherites uh, as the dentin decalcifies with the EDTA. Um, it comes off in chunks and you can see various calcospherites uh, through the entire canal actually. Now looking at the isthmus area uh, in between, which is where we're really interested to see how well the general wave actually cleans this out. And then we'll go into these areas that are suggestive of a biofilm on the surface. But here again, at higher magnification, you can see this is just, these are just calcospherites. This is not a biofilm. Um, that has been incompletely decalcified by the EDTA. <clears throat> Looking at the mesial lingual canal, we see a very similar picture. There's basically no organic debris, no bacterial uh, contamination at all. Here's the business end of the mesial lingual canal. And you can see it uh, is actually exceptionally clean. Uh, there you can see uh, some of the dentinal tubules. 
So even in the apical end of the root, the activity of the general wave seems uh, uh, very significant. Here you can see kind of a further decalcification. Again, these can be mistaken for biofilms, but that's just the collagen from the decalcification of the uh, calcified material in the dentin. And here you can see uh, open dentinal tubules. The device apparently cleans right into the tubule. Uh, very, very impressive. There's no debris whatsoever in there. A little more coronally, you can see actually where the instrument touched and where it didn't. Over on the right, that is where the instrument did not touch. And it has a di different appearance after it's decalcified. Now, as a comparison, this is a case that was done at the bench with a 1704 uh, instrument without the general wave that was just with normal irrigation. And you can see it's filled with all kinds of debris. Uh, this was a necrotic tooth done at the bench and using only a 1704 rotary file. And then the tooth was split and examined. And you can see it's filled with uh, all kinds of debris. And as you go in at much higher magnification, you can see there's uh, a biofilm basically everywhere on this tooth in this in the soft tissue that is still remaining, as well as uh, on the dental surface. You can see uh, bacterial morpho morphotypes as, as well as fungi here. Those are fungi uh, all throughout all of the soft tissue. And here are some bacterial morpho morphotypes um, that are basically everywhere uh, in the tooth. So just as a comparison, you can get a sense of what canals look like with just normal hand instrumentation. This is an actually a case of mine that I did 20 years ago. And the patient cracked the distal root, and so we had to extract the tooth. So we're going to look at the mesial uh, root in cross-section. It looks like there was um, kind of a finding on the mesial root, but the tooth had been asymptomatic for 20 years until he fractured the distal root and there was a pocket uh, that probed all the way to the apex. So we took the tooth out. There you can see the fracture on the distal root. And now we're just going to uh, axially cut across the mesial root and just kind of take a look at uh, what a normal instrumentation would look like uh, using normal irrigation and instrumentation. And here you can see what we all know. We don't clean, the, our instruments don't go here, our irrigants don't clean it out. And when you look uh, at that area under the SEM, you can see that tissue uh, in the isthmus area uh, between the, the three canals and that root. And as you go in at even higher mag, you get a sense for what these biofilms actually look like in that isthmus area. And looking at this, you think it's a miracle why any of our treatment works at all, uh, because we never cleaned this out. Prior to Gentle Wave, we never really cleaned any of this material out. And here you can see uh, a very, very robust uh, biofilm in that tissue. So I thought you would enjoy uh, seeing uh, the the in vivo general wave case, as well as having something to compare it to um, in a normal instrumentation.